My name is Scott Cousins, and I'm the editor of the Frankfurt Times, and these are some of the stories you'll see in the Friday, December 6th edition. Uh, the city of Frankfurt is shy about $1 million in its employee health insurance line item for the 2014 budget. City officials and employees met Wednesday during a special council meeting to discuss the issue and possible additional appropriations. Um, last year, or this, for this year, the council appropriated $2.1 million for the 2014 employee health insurance, according to Clerk Treasurer Judy Sheets, who said that in order to keep the current one-tier anthem plan, it will cost about $3.1 million. Uh, the difference is going to be made up through a combination of an additional appropriation, some money left over from the 2013 budget, and some additional monies from outside. In another story, in 1977, Calvin Cottrell started hanging Christmas lights at his home in Rossville. He started with 35 strands, but after 36 years, he has sort of lost count. Quote, we have no idea. I don't count them anymore, unquote, he said Wednesday night. We probably have 125 five-gallon buckets in the trees. That doesn't count the stuff on the ground. Relatives guess that Cottrell, 84, strings up about 750,000 lights for the display called Oaklawn Acres Christmas Lights at 3113 West County Road 800 North, Rossville. The display, which is up until New Year's Eve, will draw people from throughout North Central Indiana. Finally, some of the potential community leaders of tomorrow got a chance to view community leaders of today in action and also were able to tour the new Ivy Tech Frankfurt facility. Uh, the group, part of the uh, Learning to Lead program by Purdue Extension and the Learning Center, or the Learning Network, uh, is made up of sophomores from all the county's high schools. They sat in on meetings uh, Thursday or Wednesday with uh, city leaders in Frankfurt and then toured the facility. That's all that that's all we have and thank you and you can watch you can see these either by picking up a copy of Friday's paper or visiting ftimes.com. Thank you.